Hello, my beautiful people. Thank you all so much for clicking. This is again Delia Amy once again. Today, we will be talking about hair porosity and I'll be bringing to you a detailed video on porosity because I had talked about hair porosity before but then I just gave the definition of hair porosity and tried to bring out the differences between hair porosity, hair texture and hair type. So today we'll just be talking about hair porosity, the different categories of hair porosity, the hair structure, the and porosity test, okay, and also we'll be talking about the different characteristics of the various hair uh, porosity categories without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video so porosity normally is how well oils and moisture moves in and out of your hair cuticle okay your hair cuticle and this will make us to understand to like try to have a bit of knowledge about the hair structure because the hair cuticles is part of the hair structure okay the hair structure is divided into three layers which are the cuticles the cortex and the medulla the cuticles is the hard the tough sorry is the tough protective layer of your hair the tough protective outer layer of your hair the cortex is the thicker layer of your hair which contains proteins it contains fibrous it contains pigmentation pigmentation is what gives your hair the color that it has and the medulla is the soft central layer of your hair so porosity simply explains how well oils and moisture penetrates the outer layer of your hair to get in and how well it stays there how long it stays there now after talking about the structure, we can now talk about the different categories of porosity. Hair porosity is divided into three different categories, meaning there are three different categories of people. There are a group of people which fall under a particular category of hair porosity. That's how well oil and moisture can penetrate their hair and how long it can last in their hair. So these categories are simply low porosity, high porosity, and medium porosity. Okay? Low porosity is when your hair cuticles, the hair cuticles, remember we said earlier, is the outer layer of your hair, the tough protective outer layer of your hair. So low porosity, the cuticles are tightly closed, okay? The cuticles are tightly closed, and if they are this closed, oil moisture is very difficult for them to absorb oil or moisture, okay? So they are tightly closed together. For medium porosity, medium porosity is when your cuticles are slightly open and they are slightly closed together. So it is easier for your hair to absorb moisture and it also stays, it keeps moisture for a long time when you say moist, it retains moisture. High porosity is when your cuticles are widely open. This way, the oil... Um, Moisture or oils can come in easily, but as in as much as they come in easily, is the same way they leave. Take a practical example to better understand how well the hair porosity works. For example, you have a window. If your window is slightly open, it is very it, uh, you will see that air can come into your house, but air won't easily leave your house because it is not widely open and it is not tightly closed. So air will come in, but it will also stay in your house for a longer period of time. And that will give your house a very good refreshing temperature. That is the medium porosity hair type. Now, if your windows are tightly closed and everywhere is closed, you will discover that it is hard for any air or fresh air to come into your house, okay? But if little air comes in into your house, it will be hard for that air to leave your house. That is why when you use air conditioning, they always advise close your windows and everywhere so that air can remain in your house, okay? That is the low porosity where air comes and it stays. Moisture comes in and it stays but with low porosity if your windows are widely open as the air comes in it leaves immediately okay so that will generally take us to the characteristics of the various categories of hair porosity 
we'll start with the low porosity. Low porosity, like we earlier said, the cuticles are tightly closed. So the first characteristic is it is hard for your hair to absorb moisture. And the second characteristic is because the cuticles are tightly closed and once the hair successfully absorbs moisture and oils, it is hard also for your hair to uh, for the moisture to leave your hair. So therefore, a low porosity hair type retains moisture, but it is hard for it to absorb moisture. Okay. The third category for low porosity hair type is it does not get dry easily. Like we said, if the cuticles are tightly closed together, it is hard for it to leave. So it takes a longer time for your hair to air dry. Like if you want to, after washing your hair, your hair will take a very longer time for it to air dry. Now the medium uh, category, which is a medium porosity hair type. Here we said that cuticles are slightly closed and slightly open. So the, this uh, hair porosity type absorbs moisture easily and the moisture stays in the hair. Okay, so that is the first characteristic that it absorbs moisture and secondly, it retains moisture. Thirdly, someone with a medium porosity hair, hair type it is easy for your hair, for someone to style your hair. Like to style your hair is very easy. And if you have any style on your hair, that style stays longer because of the texture and sorry, because of the medium porosity of your hair. Okay. Thirdly, if someone with a medium porosity, your hair always looks very healthy. It looks very good and it does not break easily because it is always well moisturized and it absorbs moisture so well. Now we get to high porosity. With high porosity, because your cuticles are widely open, water comes in easily, oil comes in easily, moisturizers comes in easily. But in as much as they come in easily, this is the same way that they leave the hair. So the first char uh, characteristic of high porosity is it absorbs moisture easily. The second is it does not retain moisture. So your hair is always looking very dry and frizzy. Okay, high porosity hair types always look very dry and frizzy. And for also, it is prone to breakage because when hair is dry, that way it is very easy for your hair to to break sorry for the noise guys i have a cocoa -co host here yeah so it, uh, if your hair is dry your hair can break easily okay so that is the characteristics of high porosity hair type so now another question people will be asking is how can you know your hair type but before we get to that i would like you to know that sometimes your porosity your hair can carry two different porosities so if your hair contains it has porosity two different porosity maybe some um, tests cannot really so we are work going well. to talk about the how to do the different porosity test the first is the glass and water test here you have water like this and this quantity it should be this much because you want to actually see when the hair is in the middle, when it's at the bottom, and where is when it's at the top. So you get one clean strand of your hair and drop it in this water. If it stays at the top, it does not sink for like a couple of seconds or one minute, it means you have low porosity hair type because that hair, the cuticles are tightly closed so it does not absorb moisture fast. If it remains in the middle, it means you have the medium porosity. And the medium porosity, it means the cuticles are slightly open and slightly closed so it absorbs and retains moisture. And if the hair strand sinks immediately, you drop it and it sinks down below in, uh, in this glass, it means you have high porosity hair type because your cuticles are widely open, they absorb moisture fast and that is where it will just sink. It will just absorb this water and sink down to the bottom immediately. The setbacks of this uh, test is remember that oil does not go with water. Okay, oil does not go with water. So if your hair is dirty or your hair has any oils or build up, 
let me say oil oil can cause your hair to float and that will not give you a good result for this test because anything that contains oil cannot sink in water so that can cause your hair to float that is why you have to wash your hair if your hair contains build ups or any products that can absorb oil very fast uh, water very fast it can cause your hair to sink down and that will also give you a wrong result from this test so for you to actually get the right result you should be make sure that your hair is thoroughly clean and it is dry the second uh, test you can do is you get a strand of your hair like you just hold your hair like this a strands you just run your finger on that strand one single strand if you feel it very smooth if you feel that your strand is smooth it means you have low porosity because your cuticles are tightly closed there is no space there is nothing there but if you feel like it's rough and bumpy like slightly like you have little knots or it's rough you know what I mean it means you have high porosity because your cuticles are open the third test we can talk about is run, like running water on your hair. Since we know that porosity is how well your hair absorbs and absorbs moisture, you can just make sure that after washing your hair thoroughly and it's completely dry, try to like pour water on your hair again and see how fast your hair will absorb that water. If your, the water is just like lingering on your hair and does not penetrate so easily, it means you have low porosity hair type but if you just pour water on your hair on your clean hair and the water just penetrates your hair it means you have high porosity hair type or medium porosity hair type but also the setback of this is maybe if you pour water on your hair that is dirty and is oily the water will not penetrate easily we all know that because of the oils okay also the the density of your hair how thick your hair is can also affect how water can get into your hair especially when you're washing your hair so sometimes people don't consider this because maybe your hair is too thick that is why water takes time to penetrate to your hair or maybe your hair is too thin that is why water is get easily mm -hmm. penetrates your hair and that will bring us and that will bring us to the, the next thing which is how what can affect your hair porosity normally hair porosity comes from genetics like if you if low porosity runs in your family it is very easy for your hair to uh, also fall under the low porosity hair type high porosity and medium porosity is the same it can be genetics it can be caused by genetics but there are other factors that we do that we we affect our hair porosity which are the use of chemicals like relaxers okay we use relaxers like uh, bleaching our hair to change the colors these things affect our hair porosity usually they take us to the to, to 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 high porosity because they open our cuticles when it, our cuticles were not widely open they open them and they, they they expose them okay that may lead your hair to always getting dry it may cause your hair to always getting dry and that has changed your normal porosity which was maybe high uh, low porosity where your hair is difficult for your hair to absorb moisture but it does retain moisture also heat styling tools can affect our hair as it thinens our hair it can cause that our hair absorbs moisture easily and leave and that our hair cannot retain moisture so porosity depends on genetics and our own control that is why for us to actually give our hair that treat and to maintain healthy nourished and good hair beautiful hair we need to take note of the things that we use even the brush if you do not use the right brush for your hair it can also affect your hair porosity Products that we use like deep conditioners, remember we said the, the cortex contains protein and some are hair, okay, there are some hair types, let me put it that way, that has a higher protein level than others. And if your hair has a higher protein level and you keep on using deep conditioners that contain protein, like you keep on going for the protein conditioners, it can affect your hair porosity. So we are going to talk more about the 
products how to select our products for our hair porosity in another video okay i hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something from this video if you find this video interesting please do well to smash the subscribe button okay take the notification bell at the corner and select all so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video and leave a comment what do you think what are your suggestions okay and if you have any question please drop it in the comment section below thank you so much guys i love you bye, -bye.